game started. Okay, Basquiat from Italy. Um, let's try E4. Okay, we get a Sicilian. And uh, we'll see what kind of Sicilian. This could be a con Sicilian or, uh, yeah, I think that's a con Sicilian. It depends on if he plays knight to uh, f6 next, I guess. Knight to c6, rather, or the queen move. Yeah, so this is the con Sicilian. Well, this is interesting. This is one of those uh, lines I've been wanting to learn myself. You know, he can pin here. I think this is a move. The thing is, this knight is not yet under attack. Now it is. <laughs> now you have to decide what to do with the knight. And maybe just take uh, take it off. And that's castle. And uh, exchange here. We get this funny pawn structure. Well, white, <laughs> black. Black has two more pawns in the center. But no development at all except the queen. Is this really so good? Is there a check here? Not really. Not really. Can I develop the bishop with a tempo? I can put the bishop here. Nope. No, I can't put it there. Here. What does it do over here? Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see how he reacts to that. Oh, he just wants to trade, huh? That probably helps him, but that is his uh, good bishop, so let's uh, bring the queen out and see if he still wants to trade. I don't think I'm losing anything over here. He could start pushing his center pawns. That may be a problem. Pawn to e4, queen back, because that hits my uh, queen. Pawn to e4 hits my queen. He doesn't do that. Okay, he just defended. Yeah, there was kind of a threat. On his um, on his G pawn there, so he just defended that. But he created some weaknesses over here on the light squares. So um, I think I want to get away from this uh, E4 push. So let's drop the queen back to G3. Maybe play Rook Rook E1. And let's see how I can get the knight over here into these uh, dark squares. He's got a knight defending. Maybe he's going to castle. I don't know which side he's going to castle here. Wait, but I'm using peace pressure to keep him from advancing these pawns if I can. He could push on with the D pawn. I'm not sure if that's effective. Okay, let's think about this. He can harass my queen with the knight to h5 or knight here. But here I just take it, right? Knight takes, knight takes... Nah. I can take it and win a pawn, but well, let's uh, <clears throat> let's develop the other rook now, and then think about it. So when I move the uh, knight away, which I want to do, I want to get the knight over on the king side here. It looks like he's going to go to the king side. Then he has this move, knight to um, knight to e but from e4, it doesn't do a whole lot that night, so I mean, I'll just let it sit there on e4 and just move my queen after knight e4 rather than taking it. Okay, he didn't react to that. So I want to get my knight to this square. So it needs to come from here, I guess. And that is a bit tricky to arrange, huh? Or maybe knight to um, <clears throat> maybe knight to g5 here. So I'm going knight f3 to g5, queen h4, and try and threaten over here. I'm, I think I have to lift a rook to maybe threaten to take the knight off. Um, he seems to have solved most of his problems though. Looks like um, you know he still has fairly good. Center control, yeah, he's hitting the knight, he's hitting the pawn, but uh, yeah, I'm still, I still am preventing him from advancing these center pawns, so maybe it's still okay. And um, okay, so knight here, 
We start to think about ideas like knight takes f7 as well as uh, h7. And he wants to trade queens. I don't want that. Um, I'm not sure the end game is all that bad for me, but uh, I would like to play a little longer with the queen on the board. <laughs> Let's see, he could play knight to. No, he can't play knight g4. I just take it. I was going to say he can coordinate an attack on h2 potentially, but not just yet. So my idea is simply lifting the rook. Rook e3 to f3, taking the knight, and then checkmating <laughs> on uh, h7. <laughs> okay, he's preparing to um, play h6, perhaps, to chase my knight away, or maybe he just wants to bring a rook over. <clears throat> yeah, so his, his knight is still defending... Um, h7. Otherwise, I might consider sacking on f7. You know, knight takes, king takes, and then queen here, check, would pick up two pawns, but the knight's guarding h7. If he ever pushes the h-pawn to um, harass my knight, it weakens um, the g6 pawn, and there may be a sacrifice on g6. Yeah, so that's his idea, bringing the rook over here. Okay, but let's just threaten to uh, take the knight. Knight takes, f7, king takes, and then queen takes on... Um, queen takes knight is, is uh, winning a piece. Yeah, so that defends the knight. That's a good move, and it threatens the... Um, fork of the bishop and the rook. So what to do here? Knight takes here is still a kind of a forcing move. Knight takes, hits the queen and the rooks. So king takes. But what's the follow-up? With the bishop, with the queen protecting the knight. Hmm, yeah, I don't see it. Um, Let's see, if I play bishop here, um, it's not threatening a whole lot. But at least he can't take it. <laughs> and uh, anyway, gets the uh, gets the bishop away from that um, So pawn takes bishop, rook takes queen. He takes back with the rook. He's threatening mate back here, but I have time to uh, lift a pawn up and save my king. Pawn forward threatens bishop takes rook. But, uh, okay, I'm, I'm running out of squares for my knight, too. Okay, what am I doing here? It's still a little early for knight f7, right? Knight f7... King takes, and then rook here. And bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes. That's all looks. That all look good. I guess I have to. All looks good for black. I guess I have to retreat. I am getting my pieces into an awkward <laughs> situation here. I may have uh, gotten gotten myself into trouble here once again. Yeah. So he goes forward. So there's only one square for the queen, right? These are all covered. And uh, that's what I was saying. I may be in trouble here. He's got this fork. Well, I can take the rook and take the pawn with... Take the knight and take the pawn with check if he plays g4. If he plays knight h4. Okay, plays that way. So that's uh, forcing a queen trade. Well, it allows a queen trade. So I take the queen. Oh, and then I have two pieces hanging. I have the rook hanging and the bishop hanging. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Can I move the rook somewhere? Rook takes knight. Threatens the queen. Um, queen takes, and then I save the bishop, but I'm down the exchange. Not good, but uh, well, I don't see anything better. There was some clever escaping move with the uh, bishop. Let's see. Queen takes queen. Rook takes. There's still a, pawn, a pin. That gives me time to save the rook, huh? Queen takes queen, because the rook here is not defended, so I can move my rook over. I can even move it over here and attack his bishop. And this is still pinned, I guess. I take... Actually, this doesn't work either. <clears throat> I should have gone to a different square. Pawn takes bishop, rook takes rook, pawn takes rook. And uh, I'm down a piece. And I can't... Uh, pawn takes bishop, I don't have time to take his bishop. He defended it. Pawn takes bishop. I don't have time to take his bishop because there's a threat of checkmate on the back rank. So lucky for me, he didn't see that. Okay. Let's get the bishop out of trouble. Yeah, okay. Um, what am I going to do now? Let's... Um, I'm bringing the king over so I can move the knight to uh, g1. The knight has no squares. I want to give the knight some squares. I don't want to push either c3 or f3 because he can push his pawns forward and get a passed pawn, which is very strong. I want to keep these pawns here and try and attack them. Maybe rook... Uh, uh, rook b4 would attack the... Uh, the d pawn. Maybe he has trouble defending it. Let's try that. He may have finally reached a state where he is overreached. <laughs> that was that was a tricky game. Well, still is a tricky game. My opponents lately have been playing better. I've been playing better than the rating, or at least I, or maybe I've been playing worse, but uh, I've had a couple of games recently where things just did not go my way. Um, bishop takes or rook takes? Maybe rook takes. Yeah, uh, you know, he's still got a, um, a check here. Bishop takes, check. Check. That was lucky. <laughs> he has bishop takes check, winning my rook here. This rook is loose. So I need to do something about that. Just, oh, you know, I should have moved the pawn forward instead of moving the rook back. I should have just played a... I should have just played a three there, defending the rook. Anyway, my threat now is just to take the bishop. Let's see, has he got any checks here? It's a check, but I can take it. Okay, so I can take this guy. And uh, his bishop is pinned. So finally, finally, I think I'm cracking the nut here. Black resign. <laughs> okay. Well, it's nice to get a win in. Uh, Anyway, I will uh, take a look at this in the postmortem and uh, see you guys later. Bye.